Psalms 12, 6-7 tells us that God promises to preserve his word for all time. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. If he did not preserve his word, as he promised, then he is one, a liar, or two, incompetent, and three, not God at all. So when a verse compared in two different Bible versions disagree with each other and have completely different meanings even, if one is the word of God, then the other is not. Both cannot be the word of God at the same time. So where is the word of God? When someone says that the Bible is the word of God inerrant and inspired, but only in the originals, they're giving themselves an out to disbelieve the word. The original manuscripts do not exist. They were passed around, read, copied, until they disintegrated into oblivion, and only copies remained. Many modern Bible versions are based on manuscripts found in monasteries in excellent condition. The manuscripts that the NIV and New American Standard were translated from were found in a trash dump at St. Catherine's Monastery, from which sprang the Sinaiticus and Alexandrinus texts, the basis of almost all the newer Bible versions, based on the older is better erroneous hypothesis. Most people do not and will not study the origins of the King James Bible in comparison with others. They don't know that 54 or 47 or 48 or 60, depending on the source of the information, uh, of the best men were commissioned by King James of England to translate texts to produce the most accurate scripture. Each man took a section of manuscript, translated it, and then passed it to the next man to translate. And in the end, among the however many there were, 54 is the lowest, I mean, 47 is the lowest I've heard, um, they reached a consensus on the best, the most accurate wording of the passages. We've actually heard some say the Bible that King James wrote entirely inaccurate statement. James had no hand in the translation of it other than bringing in the best minds to produce the authorized 1611 version. Most newer versions are based on the Alexandrian text, which accounted for only about 30 of the 6,000 surviving manuscripts. Now remember, there are no originals, only faithful copies. That, that Alexandrian text was terse and according to many, very difficult to read. Generally speaking, Westcott and Hort favored the Alexandrian text, which was based on the two 4th century uh, witnesses, the Codex Vaticanus and the Codex Sinaiticus, Catholic manuscripts. The King James Bible is based on the Textus Receptus, not the Alexandrian text. The King James Authorized Bible is similar, I mean, it's written in the beginning at a grade school level English. And as it goes along and you become familiar and more educated in the word, the reading level increases slightly, but never leaves the high school level of reading ability. It is not too difficult to read if you understand your own language, English. Words still mean what they did then. The meanings are still the meanings. And if you don't understand a word's meaning or are unfamiliar, look it up as we do today. Some words may not be used in the same way that they used to be. However, they still mean the same thing. Most newer translation, translations today water down the concept of sin, changing words, which in effect also changes meanings. For example, the KJV says the love of money is the root of all evil. Alexandrian texts, uh, in many uh, new versions today, say the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, which you can infer from that that some kinds of evil are not from the love of money. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a watered-down version. All kinds is different than all. The King James Bible says in 1 Timothy 2.15, Study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Dividing refers to differences in dispensations, a change in God's plan for a specific reason or people. In, in, for example, law versus grace after the revelation of the mystery was revealed. Many modern Alexandrian versions say something like accurately handling or correctly handling in place of rightly dividing and taking out the more specific meaning of the verse. Over 900 Bible versions exist in the world today, many not even actual translations but mere paraphrases, which are, in the end, opinion pieces. 
When you state that scripture is inerrant only in the originals, since they no longer exist, you're saying God did not preserve his word as he promised. Not all versions, whether they be translations or paraphrases, can be the word of God. As he says, pure words as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times, preserved for all eternity. If the Lord was unable to preserve his word, he is not and never was God, the creator of heaven and earth. 